Hey guys, quick tutorial here for removing scratches. Problem if you've purchased a car that's had dogs jumping in out the back or if your own dogs yourself. Bit of a chip there as well. As you can see, it's really quite scratched. It can be saved without painting, so let's crack on with it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, it's got a bit of a layer of dust on it. So we're just going to get that off with some panel wipe. Alternatively, you can use G101 or some kind of multi-based, multi-purpose cleaner. Once that's clean, we're going to need to sand these marks as far back as we can without going through the clear coat um, and most of them probably are surface scratches so I'm pretty confident we can make some improvement but you're gonna have to watch and find out so we're going to use some 1500 paper wet and dry and we're just going to start sanding these scratches out normally I recommend using a block but because it's quite an intricate area, we're just going to use our fingers. And we're going to be conscious of these edges because we don't want to be sanding through those. As you can see, as you're sanding, you can see where all the indentations are from the deeper scratches. I don't think we're going to be able to remove all of them but we definitely want to be seeing some pretty serious improvement. Alternatively, alternatively it's going to need respraying but we're trying to avoid that with this video and this tutorial. So as I mentioned this is 1500 grit. Keep wiping the area to check your work. Okay, so we've gone over everything with 1500 uh, as much as I want to, and we're just going to file that up with some 2000 paper, wet and dry, to try and refine it a little bit. Always check your work. Obviously you've got to bear in mind there's only so much clear coat that you can sand through so once it starts looking really flat and level like this um, you've kind of got to get to a point where that you're happy with how it how it's going to look and that you've removed as many scratches as you possibly can. Once you're happy with that, we're going to take it up to the next stage, and that's uh, 3000 grit. Same thing again, just going over all the areas that we've previously sanded. This is just refining it now, and each time you do it, it should feel a little bit smoother than the last time. And it's, it almost brings a bit of shine back to it. I know it's not completely shiny, but it just does start to bring some clarity back into the finish. So this is what it should look like now. It's all been sanded back. It's been 1500 grit wet and dry, 2000 followed by 3000. 
it should look like this kind of dull hazy but uniform so i'm just going to mask off this plastic bit here so that i don't hit it with the polishing machine i'm going to be using freckler g360 compound on this job um it always needs a decent compound, something with some decent cut, Manzerna, Freckler, 3M. There's loads on there, you can pick them up from various places, including Amazon. So yeah, that's gonna now um, polish this back up where it's gonna cut the paintwork back so that it brings some polish and shine back into it. With that you can see already that it's bringing the shine back the clarity back and we've removed a lot of the scratches so i'm going to continue with that go guys that's made a huge improvement obviously it's not as perfect as a full respray on the panel but for what it's cost and how long it's took it's made a huge improvement